a very good morning to everyone here we are for the AICT sponsored one week one week short term training program on fundamentals of FEA and its applications in engineering phase two and will be happening from 15th of February 2021 to 20th of February 2021 organized by the Department of Mechanical Engineering Panimala Institute of Technology to know that we know what we know and to know what we do not know what we do not know that is true knowledge by Nicholas Copernicus on behalf of the Department of Mechanical Engineering Animal Institute of Technology I welcome you all for the inaugural function of the short-term training program on fundamentals of FEA and its applications in engineering now I request Dr. N. Nityanandan, Head of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, to deliver the welcome address. Very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. N. Nityanandan, Professor and Head, Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is wonderful occasion. We are gathering here. I really thanks to the AICT and our management giving this opportunity to welcome and invite all our participants to this SCTP program. This short term training program, this is phase two. We already successfully completed phase one. This phase two, from today onwards up to 20 of February. These fundamentals of finite element analysis and its application in engineering. This is organized by Department of Mechanical Engineering, Panimalar Institute of Technology, which is approved and sponsored by AACT and others supported by our management. The finite element analysis is a numerical method for solving problems of engineering and the mathematical physics. It is a computerized method for predicting how a product reacts to real world forces, vibration, heat, fluid flow, and other physical effects. Final finite element ana analysis shows whether your product will break, wear out or work the way it was designed. This FEA used in a different field like a structural analysis, solid mechanics, dynamics, and the thermal analysis and the electrical analysis. It is my great pleasure and honor to invite our chief guest, Dr. C. Jabaraj, former director, AUFRG, Anna University, Chennai. Welcome, sir. And I am very happy to welcome our principal, Dr. T. Jayanti, ME PhD, to this inauguration. She always gives the maximum support and guiding us in a proper way. Welcome, madam. And also, I extended my warm welcome to the participants from various institutions. And definitely, this program will educate in your profession. Because this short-term training program is aimed to enrich the knowledge of faculties through interaction with the eminent personalities from industries and the academics. The knowledge sharing will improve the teaching learning process to the students and the benefit to the society also. I hope everyone would take the result of this program and make this event will get grand success. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, sir. Now, Dr. Adam Murugan, professor and coordinator of this short term training program, introduce the chief guest for this occasion. Good morning, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure and honor to introduce uh, my guru and uh, Professor Dr. C. Jabaraj. Dr. C. Jabaraj had his PhD and the MTech from IIT Madras in the year 1983 and 1977. He also has 
a long uh, he also had a long post doc tenure at the memorial university of newfoundland st john's canada and had been a commonwealth development fellow at isvr university of southampton uk after serving anna university in various capacities including professor emeritus chairman faculty of mechanical engineering director and one of the founding members of aufrg center for catcam for over 30 years he served vit chennai as senior professor at school of mechanical and building sciences vit university chennai campus <coughs> his domain of expertise includes panelman method noise vibration hardness and the npd and engineering design he has guided six phds and around 40 engineers who have worked in his design team at aufrg or around the world working for mncs he has been a retainer consultant for few industries and has carried out around 70 consultancy and sponsor project for various industries and for national organization like ig ig car isro drdo barc bell etc he has over 80 publications in various journals and conferences and technical reports he was one of the professors in, instrumental in bringing panelman method and usage of uh, these numerical tools for npd in auto industry in south india and also into the engineering education in this part of india so we welcome you uh, professor thank you thank you sir thank you yeah now i request the chief guest dr c jabaraj former director au frg anna university chennai to deliver his inaugural address okay uh, am i audible to everybody okay yes sir, yes, sir. okay <laughs> i saw the people who are gathered over here from the list of participants uh maybe i take advantage of uh, my own students uh like murugan is one of my favorite student when you are doing his phd and uh, there are other students who sat in my class for my mtech and for the phd coursework uh, i don't know why they are there uh, if i am going to bully them is it because they didn't understand when they were sitting in my class they want to come to a pp program or oh, they want to check okay 15 years ago professor was teaching me this today also he is teaching the same thing i don't know i saw shibu was sitting there i know him when he was doing his masters in crescent and uh, he, he he was with me in uh, college of engineering gindi and now uh, he has achieved many posts in the college of engineering and now university now he is sitting in the ftp program so shibu don't worry i will put it into the center stage and i'll ask you a question and if you are going to be successfully answering me i have done my job on that day correctly malakodi is sitting another student who did the masters with me and if she is not going to answer my question i did not do my job that day so she want to have a second dose order maybe after all we belong to the same community called teaching community okay uh, it is not that uh, you know like the early days gurujis that the disciples will be sitting at the feet of guruji and learn everything that is partly true but today with the technology available around us the students will know more than the gurujis in certain aspect or for that matter today when i was coming here to do the presentation i don't know how to do the powerpoint presentation in google meet so somebody from there has to instruct me what should i do but what have it may be said and done the technology is growing and knowledge is also growing and advancements are happening in engineering like when i did my engineering long back in uh, 
GCT Coimbatore. We never had a fear. I never studied a fear. For that matter, when I was my undergraduate student, we never seen a computer. Can you imagine? A B graduate has never seen a computer. That was our time. But the knowledge which I gained enabled me to do the design. As Brugan was reading, we did the design for Kalpakam, IG car, Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research. We did the design for the uh, ISRO, Liquid Propulsion Center. We did the design for Ford Motor Company. We did the design for TVS Motor Company. We did the design for a small scale industry fellow by name Kumar in Gindi Industry Estate. So it doesn't matter. There is a need around. There is a need around. What you know, little, share it. It will become delta, added delta, added delta, so the knowledge will enhance. So probably today I will be, I won't be surprised if my own students are having much greater knowledge than me. Okay? Because it's an era where their knowledge is explosion is taking place. A lot of the time it was only information, but it has become knowledge and knowledge has become an exploded knowledge. So we see greater and greater things. Uh, if some of you have got a wrong notion or a picture, oh, finite element can do everything. No, you cannot. For that matter, I'll tell you, it cannot do anything. It is you who is going to do it. It is the students who are going to do it. But then, to enable the student, to enable you to do greater things, there are some help needed. One small help is in the form of finite element method. So let me state that clear. Finite element method cannot do anything. But it's a tool in your hand with which you can do whatever you want, almost everything. Okay. When I come to the teaching class, either UG or PG, the first thing I'll say, finite element is a dumb thing. Whatever you say, it will do, that's all. It doesn't know what else to do by itself. But then whatever you want to do, you can do it with finite element. Probably, as Murugan was introducing, that uh, whether it was liked by people or it was not liked. Because I remember when we brought the subject called finite element method under the Anna University curriculum. I remember it sometime in the 90s. Okay. Uh, well, uh, one of my colleagues, some of you may know, Prashantar Shagan was with me, with me in uh, Anna University. And uh, we were trying to revise our curriculum. We were trying to revise our syllabus. And uh, we introduced a subject called finite element method. Simple reason why we did it. We had a board of studies meeting. And in the board of studies meeting, we had industry representatives. <clears throat> One of the industry men said, that I want your output from Department of Mechanics Engineering, from College of Engineering, Gindi. For that matter, any branch, they must know the latest technology. Now, you are aware, 1993, when the globalization took place, when the multinationals came in. So one of the industry men said, my counterpart in Europe, now he is doing the design, and he is validating the design by a tool called finite element method. And he expects me as I deliver the starter motor from Lucas TVS to Japan, I want they want my starter motor to be designed and validated by an efficient tool called vinyl method. So we said that we are teaching our students. So we introduced vinyl method as an optional subject, elective subject. Then uh, at the placement center. Who were the fellows who had FEM as the elective? They had this job. Others had to wait. So the next batch, they saw that if they want to get a job, they should have finite element as an elective taken 
then only the industries are having a positive look. By the time the industries were also growing in number with the MNC's arrival in 1993 or later, so we changed from the curriculum of the main campus, the four campuses. The final element method became part of the curriculum and syllabus as a core subject. And seeing the success, we decided at that time, oh, 240 colleagues were there on that day. Today, 540 colleagues are there apparently, what it may be. We said that we will introduce this subject to the self-financing colleges also. And in our ambition, we also said we will make this financial method as the core subject for the self-financing colleges. Oh my, there was a big commotion because financial method, they all thought it's a good tool. Okay, what is the mathematics? Our boys will not be able to pass this subject. Our boys may not like this subject. They all want the abstract subject to still write in the exam, not the mathematical derivation and mathematical solution. But then we said, if you want your student to be saleable in the market, then they need to know the tool and the associated things with mathematics as the helper to the tool. So we had an academic council. And there was a big commotion. In the academic council, there was a representative from the financing college also. I don't want to name the gentleman. He was there and he said, we don't want final general method to our students. I said that the industries are looking for students with final general method that they have learned it, they are able to handle it. Then he asked the question, who will teach my students? There is nobody in my faculty who could teach final general method because it's a new technique. Fine, no problem. Will you come and teach? He asked me. I said, yes, I will come and teach. He was a bit stunned by the answer. Now you will come to how many college? Can you come to 240 college? I said, I can. Then he was laughing. What are you talking? Then I told, sir, you send your teachers to me. I will train the trainers and you will have a trained man with you. I meant it. So that summer, we had summer training program, like we call it the STTP, those days called the FTP, Faculty Development Program. We conducted in three courses in the university campus, one course in Crescent College, and one course in another college. There are about 127 people were trained that year. 127 people. We have a battalion. With that, we can go on. We can go on. So the Academic Council accepted it. And Board of Studies people rewrote the syllabus. And it came. And uh, those who had the teachers trained they had an advantage because they know what to teach. Those who don't have the teachers trained, they have a disadvantage because they have to have the subject as a core subject. Then actually, Anayanushi, there is a center for faculty development. They took it up. Let's not do the training only in the engineering college. We'll do it wherever it wants. So I don't say that we are the only people. There are colleges which had the faculty, like me, I was trained in IIT Madras. I was trained when I was doing my master's. Similarly, there are people who were trained in their MTech program, PhD program. And there are people who worked from the industry, joined the institutions. So we had fairly about 160 plus faculty who were trained in FEM the 240 colleges. We said, that's OK. It cannot be 100% success. We went. And when the placement took place, 
there was a tremendous increase in the intake for the core engineering. Okay. Of course, the story changed after a few years because equally the software also was uh, competing. And then when they came for the placement, yes, Ashok Leland came and they took about seven students. Tata Motor came and they took about 10 students. But at the same time, when CTS came, they took 700 students. When Infosys came, they took 500 students. So some of our own mechanical students were tempted, why should we go for a core engineering? They may come, they may not come. Well, you know the rest of the story, how our students had affinity to software, then to core engineering. When the situation changed, situation changed. I remember one of my MTech fellow who did engineering design in uh, Anna University. I, I went to UK and uh, they heard about my arrival in UK for three months time. So from everywhere in, across the UK, they came and uh, they were uh, trying to spend one day for me, uh, leaving their jobs and all. Okay, all right, we had a fun uh, evening. I was asking, at least there was one fellow who did his MTech project with me by name, Tiazu. He said, Baba, I gave you a project on FEM, you did successfully, you are the topper in, in design. Now you are here, what are you doing, my son? Sir, I'm writing the code in COBOL for the British telephone. I said, you did FEM project, and now you are writing the code on COBOL for the British telephone. What is this? He asked me back the question. Sir, I got a placement when I was there in Anna University. It was from Lucas TVS. They gave me 13,000 rupees salary. And uh, when I was selected by TCS, and when they posted me here, sir, I'm getting 13,000 pound. You want me to stay behind with 13,000 rupees in India or with 13,000 pound anywhere, everywhere in Europe? Though I had no answer, student's mind is also going that way. Well, years went by, and you know what happened to the IT industry. My own students again, who were with CTS, TCS, in the country, outside the country, after about two to five years time, there was a flock of engineers, came back as old students, sir, we are tired, we are tired. We wrote the same coding five years ago, I read the same coding today. That day I wrote it for British Telephone, today I'm writing, writing it for, uh, say, a warehouse or an insurance company. There is no engineering, sir. There is no engineering. But that matter, I'll tell you, probably I'll tell you, some of my students, BTEC students, who came back saying that, sir, we want to grow in engineering knowledge. We joined in Gendai Engineering College for a time. Okay, I can tell stories and stories. I'm not here to advocate financial method, but I'm here to say that there are tools. Make your students exposed to the tool. Make your students exposed to the tool, okay? This short-term course, probably I'll give you a taste for it. If I give you the taste, then you will be able to in time go and give the taste to your own students. Yes, you have a wrong notion but the right message, it is mathematics. So we have an allergy to mathematics. At least in my first couple of hours lecture, yes, it is mathematics, but what is mathematics? Mathematics is a good helper. It's a good helper. That's what I'm planning to do in the first two hours slot. Okay. Only thing is your mindset. If your mindset is willing, to receive new, if your mindset is thinking, everybody is helper, including the mathematics is a helper, then you are a jack, you have a jackpot. If you think, oh, this is the design subject, oh, this is a mathematical subject, I tell you, you have to change your mindset. You have to change your mindset. I think I'll stop with this, and uh, it is may not be an inaugural speech or inaugural address. 
at least it is prelude to my next lecture. It was followed by I had to start my lecture. So if the inauguration was not there, if I would have asked to do my first lecture, this would have been my first 10 minutes. Okay. Morgan, thank you very much. You gave me an opportunity to come and talk to uh, you said there are there are about uh, 40, 40 students are here. I'm I'm grateful to everybody, and uh, we hope that we'll have a very happy, blessed memories. And uh, I maybe I may not be there throughout, okay, but definitely I'm available. I'll give you my contact ID and uh, my contact uh, email ID, so we can have contact with one another. Thank you very much. All the best for you guys. Bye. Over to Murugan. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, uh, we will uh, break for five minutes, sir. Then we will start our session. Sir. All right. Thank you. We will have break for five minutes. Murugan announced. Good for me also. Okay. Oh, Thank you. So participants, uh, we will start the session in the same link. So please join with us in the after five minutes in the same link. Yes, sir. Where is the screen is visible. The, uh, no, that is my face, but where is my lecture? I thought yes, I sir, opened it. No? Open the PPT, sir. PPT. You have to select the PPT. So it is like uh, whatever uh, you view on your screen, it will be visible for us. So it's like that. So if you open. Uh, uh, yes, now, now it is visible. Oh. You select the PPT. Ah, it yes. it's, now it is visible, is sir. Is it open for? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I must have full screen, huh? Ah, yes, sir. Okay, fine. Very good. So now uh, full screen mode, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 